It's the 2nd of December, and so the synthesizer gets new features. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch yesterday's video where I explained everything. So yesterday we saw the oscillator and could choose from different shapes, the sine wave, the triangle wave, the sawtooth wave, the alternating sawtooth and the square wave. But we could only choose and today we can mix them. So what we see here is that each of these shapes now has a level adjuster. So I can even turn that to negative values and um, adjust the level and maybe say, okay, I have my sawtooth, now it's an upward sawtooth, and I add a triangle wave to that. And if you used two Common Studios plugins before, you're used to that, you can reset the values by holding down the control key on the Windows or Linux, or the um, command key on a Mac and click the values so they, they zero out in this case. And then we have this other row here, which is called number. And this is the numbers of repetitions of that shape within one oscillator cycle. So if I turn up this sine wave and choose two, we have two sine waves or three, we would have three sine waves and so on. Let's hear that with a sawtooth wave. So we have uh, the fundamental tone. And if I choose two, it would be an octave higher, of course. And three is an octave and a fifth. Four is, of course, two octaves. Then we get to the third, the fifth, the seventh, and three octaves. And this can become interesting when we say we mix maybe a square wave and we set in a triangle wave, but we choose a different number here. So now we get an interesting waveform, which would sound like this. Or we take even a more crazy number here. And we mix the sawtooth in and take yet another number here. And if this line would go outside the box, we would have hard clipping. So that will be rectified in this case. So you see, we now can create a huge amount of different interesting and crazy waveforms here. And that's already it for today, but I have a recommendation for you. And this is Psyche's MIDI arpeggiator. I find it interesting in combination with this synthesizer here. So here I set up the thing with a sequence, and uh, don't worry, I will not go in deep and explain everything about this thing here. I just wanted to show you that it exists. And what it basically does, it's a little um, sequencer. And um, this is the um, playing for the first key that you press, the second, the third, and so on. So if I press some keys here, um, for the first key would be this. And now I play a second key. And the third. and so on. So now, that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins and bye bye.